Hello people, this is Budridge and in this video I thought uh, let's add some, some basic HTML to our uh, web page here now because right now it is uh, as as a raw uh, as a web page can can get it's it's not even a, a, a web page in a way whoa ah that's right we have we don't have the server up um, but we kind of we, we really should add at least you know um, the HTML head title body tags and stuff to to the web page and then we we take a quick look at at the CSS and, and some um, basic design that we can apply to it so this will be a little bit more focused on that stuff uh, but it will be Hugo things as well whatever or to be honest I have no idea where, where we uh, will uh, land but um, let's copy this thing here and here this by the way uh, w3schools.com um, I think this W3 schools, or to be honest, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how, how how and what this is, but uh, I usually go to, whenever I, I create a web page, which I have done many times uh, throughout the years, you know, I, 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 I have been been around for a while, um, and every, but, but I don't... I never been like a, a web developer, and and I make maybe a web one web page every year or something. But every time I go to this page and just um, maybe do, uh, I think they have like quizzes and stuff here, which is just good to see that you're um, to refresh your knowledge or get a basic knowledge because this is a very quick and basic. Uh, uh, course on on the different things in yeah html but as you can see there is also css javascript sql and even php here and even stupid bootstrap here but at least html and css the these two uh, uh, are are good introduction tutorials uh, that i can vouch for and also uh, maybe even more uh, it, it, it's good to just do this uh, uh, qu quizzes you could start by doing them even if you have no experience knowledge at all just to see yeah where, where you are and what to focus on on, on these different uh, topics here whatever but there are of course one million uh, different uh, resources to learn HTML there's no lack of that stuff but it often um, it's often bundled with some uh, other stuff like uh, React or, or Angular or focused onto that or that. But this this is like very general uh, and generic, and, and I think that's a good good thing. And here is a simple HTML document on the first page here. HTML introduction. So let's copy that uh, simple HTML document into our uh, layout here we could add it to the index here we could start there uh, and then we remove this and uh, yeah it's very easy to see that this is at least two two parts you know you have the head and you have the body uh, but in one way I, I like to divide it like this this is the head uh, ending with the body tag here and then the body itself is like a, 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 a second document and then this is uh, a third uh, part of the, doc the main document the, the footer or whatever you want to call it. The thing is like, it's not the best best choice for names, but whatever. So if we instead paste our Hugo code in here, and it is like uh, not uncommon to indent uh, 
indent the HTML tags uh, like like this. Yeah, I guess it is like this then. Well, the thing is, it's really difficult later to, to retain this indentation uh, correctly with Hugo. It is of course possible, but it, it will get tricky to get a nice uh, um, sor uh, rendered source code. But whatever, we can, we can keep it like this. And this first stuff here, uh, no one knows what this is. Uh, whatever. Whatever, let's save this, uh, and if we generate our page here now, um, let's do a server. There, and I already have the page up here, so. Ah, that's right, we, we created that demo. Um, layout file here. Let's remove this file. Let's see if it worked here. Yes. There is really no difference here, I, I, I believe, from how the page looked uh, prior to us uh, applying that style. Maybe we should, should do test one more time here. If I do this Let's see if we can, let's do this, cut that, and then that. Yeah, I guess it will reload really fast here now, but let, let's see if we can spot any difference. Yeah, it felt like it, something happened at least, but uh, maybe one of the most obvious things is the tab here. This is how the tab looks like now, without our... Um, without this stuff. Now, yeah, it adds some padding up here and stuff. But now you can see it says page title here on, on the tab. And this is also what, what you would see in the window title if you had uh, that enabled so, so that it will uh, display the web page title in, in your title bar. I, I think all browsers have that by default, but I have kind of disabled it. But that's a story for a different uh, time. Um, and that is, of course, this thing here. So if I would change uh, the title tag here, uh, to, to something else, it, it would change the, the tab title there. I wonder if this has something to do with that top padding here. Oh, maybe not. Whatever. Uh, and now when I think about it, I should have prepared that a bit. Uh, the page title there. Let, let's see if we can cheat a bit and look at the the this thing here. Mm, partials. New window site header. No. Yeah, I should definitely uh, um, page header. No. Base of them. Yeah, here we have it. Here, here we have it. Yes, I think this is how we get the, the site title. Dot site dot title. That should be uh, whatever we have configured in our config toml here. We have the title my new Hugo site here. So if we add this, uh, I'm sorry for that. I should have prepared it, but I, I just uh, thought about it now. Uh, if we add that here, let's see how that works. Yes, and now it says my new Hugo site here, and I can change uh, this, which we probably should have done. Uh, Bud Bud Labs uh, Hugo demo Hugo. 
project. Whatever. And now it says that instead. Um, yeah, so. All right. Um, for the other um, single here, we will do something similar. Let's let's copy the skeleton again here and add it to, to our single HTML. Then instead of this content, we add this content. Save. Now we should also have uh, those pages having the, the title here. But now when, when we are at these, these pages, then maybe we want the, the actual uh, post title instead. So then we could just remove the site here, I believe. Yes, yeah, so now it says another post here in, in the tab. Um, Maybe you want that, maybe you would also, maybe you would like uh, both of them, you know, so we could have something like uh, this, then it will say the title of, of the main, yeah, you get it, Bud Labs demo, Hugo, another post, but personally, I prefer, prefer the title here to just be another post. Get so long and it doesn't display properly in, in tabs uh, when you have it like this. But I, I guess that uh, I am uh, uh, quite unusual with not having the title of the web page displaying in, in, uh, in the window title. But that's, that's of the same reason, because I, I use tabs. As you can see here, this is the Sublime tab displaying the, the, type, the, the path to the file here. And it doesn't even, not even this fits here. So uh, this just looks uh, cluttered to me to have, have the window title in, in the tabs. That's why I do it like this. Whatever. Um, so let's remove that. Okay, um, and then later, I don't think we do it now, but we could actually uh, split this up into different documents here in our Hugo project, but we don't need to do that right now, I, I, I think. Uh, instead, let's, let's see if we can add some styles to this uh, right away. And if you pay attention here, you might see that uh, my, my list of tabs here contains uh, a bunch of, of web pages uh, that uh, yeah have somewhat offensive uh, names here and I don't know when this when I first saw this page here um, but uh, it is kind of uh, inspiring you know because this page uh, whatever the title is you know, you look at the page source here this is the page source it doesn't use uh, uh, any CSS or anything it just have this uh, uh, this stuff here to make it responsive and then just clean source code using uh, HTML tags uh, to 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 give a, a, a nice look of it um, but then, of course, you see this stuff, you know, uh, the Google Analytics JavaScript object. And, and this is something that's very easy to add to, to your uh, Hugo static sites as well, you know, the, uh, whatever. But let's just ignore this. <laughs> Want to fight about it? Um, but the point is that you can make like perfectly fine and this is a perfectly fine web page it's almost borderline or it is it is too too uh, lightweight in my opinion and uh, i wasn't the only one who thought that so so someone made a better version of this and called it uh, a better uh, website here and this is like using the same principles but also adding a, a 
a little bit of CSS. This is, and if you don't know what CSS is, we, we get back to it. Uh, but this is the whole CSS here. It's, it's like uh, four different rules. And um, yeah, one obvious one is that the, the, the lines are, doesn't cover the whole screen. And, and, and that is something that I, I really find annoying because most of the time I, I have a narrow tab bar like this and maybe even a full, full width browser. And this is very hard to read these long lines. You know, you, you, you physically have to turn your head to, to read. And reading a long text like that, you, you will, it, it will like um, put strain on your neck and stuff. And also, or your eyes, if you have to move them so much. It, it's much harder to read a long line than a short line. Uh, which is something you probably know uh, after uh, watch my videos. I, I, I really stick to short lines even in, in source code and stuff. But whatever. Let's do uh, this again. And also, I, I usually ha have this this side here, the maybe the browser, uh, the file browser or whatever open like this, because I, I like my websites uh, in this size like i don't understand those who, who needs they, they really they, they get weird when they see this you know it's like how can you have a browser that's not full screen but uh, most many pages doesn't care about this and make the lines too long and but almost every website you see today is what's called responsive you know and, and that means that make this floating can resize the size and, uh, of the window and, and the content resizes as well here it's not like you never get the horizontal scrolling and th this is uh, this is what's called uh, or this is part of, of what is responsive design now you can imagine this on 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 one of those uh, I don't know what uh, dumb smartphones you know it works for those you don't need more than they they more CSS than than they have here to, to make all of this. And another good thing here is uh, uh, they talk about the line height. You can see they have added one rule that makes the lines higher so they don't uh, get too close. It also uh, increases readability uh, and just makes everything feel nicer. But uh, the language on, on, on the site uh, is, is, can be very offensive, especially if you are a mother uh, or have a mother. But I guess these, these guys don't. And here is yet another. And if, if you Google for, for this term, um, then, then you will find maybe three, four more uh, <laughs> versions of this. But these are the best ones. And, and this is almost the same as this one, except this guy, he thinks that it's, uh, it's nice to, to lower the contrast. You don't need like black, uh, black on white. But this guy is on the other, uh, he thinks black on white and contrast is a good thing. And uh, there are very nice links on, on these pages. Another very... Uh, interesting and, and good point here is um, they don't specify any any font for for the web pages because that's something that's really easy to do nowadays to to include uh, what's called web fonts and most of the time you use like Google have this font delivering service that you can use you can add there are a lot of free fonts that you can use on your websites uh, but then you get into this thing you know you, why, why are you loading 500 kilobytes of fonts to render 50 kilobytes of not so good content you know and that's a very valid point in my opinion because if you don't specify any fonts at all for your website it will use the default font, fonts in quotation here and the default fonts um, is what you have set for your web browser to just be your default fonts, you know. I don't know if you can see it here, I think it's in content. 
I usually set this. Well, I I I just have a monospace uh, font customized here to to hack. But all the other fonts I I, uh, I use the, the systems default and so on. But but you can change the default size and stuff here, and and that's something that you ju just should do. And if, if a website that doesn't have font specified. Uh, like this one and it looks really weird the fonts just look crappy you shouldn't blame the the uh, author of the website you should blame yourself because it's you who have set up wrong defaults um, and it also makes the site a lot faster not caring about fonts and stuff we'll see what we do in i have some some ideas about this maybe include uh, fonts and, and you know you can use icon fonts and stuff but let's not get into that now but it's a very very valid uh, uh, point they make here it's like and, and no one cares about the font it's like you, you improve the content first and foremost um, yeah whatever But uh, I think I prefer this this style uh, uh, and this CSS. Then, then there's also this this one, which is even more extreme. It, it, this is a really cool little, little blog by by J R L Ninja here. Um, I will link all, all, all of these in in the description, the show notes. Uh, but uh, he uses this CSS to get uh, uh, this look. Um, we, um, it's also fine. The point is, let's try not to use so much CSS. Let's not make things more difficult than they need to be. Uh, this was the one, right? So, view page source. And what we do is we copy just the CSS here, or maybe uh, let's copy from body here to head. There. Because the head uh, often contains these meta elements also, which uh, I don't really want to get into to what they do, but up a bit and as you can see the semicolons uh, can be interpreted as, as line breaks or thought of as line breaks I think we should have one there too There. Okay. Um, let's also change the title because we are not. Um, this is a Christian channel. Joking. This is not a Christian channel, of course not. Uh, but I don't even like M courses, as you know. So. Okay, now we have added this CSS. Of course, it, we, we have so, so little content on it, so, so it almost doesn't make a difference, but it makes some difference. We can at least see the line height being much higher and stuff here. Uh, and now it's also easy to see like web 
web technologies, web development, it, it, is, it is weird stuff. We already, in this simple little document, we actually have three different languages here. Uh, uh, we have Hugo, or, or this is actually Go templating language. So this is not Go, and Hugo is not a language in any way. It's, it's, a, it's a command line tool that uses these uh, Hugo or Go templates. Uh, so, and Go templates, that is a language in its own. HTML is a language, whatever you, you say. It's a markup language. And then uh, you have CSS, which is a, s a layout language. But it is a language, even if it is a very... Both HTML, I, I, I'm not a fan at all. Uh, HTML and CSS is, is like just bad, bad languages. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, one other thing also is that, of course, now we have this stuff, you know, uh, if we view source here, uh, we have the CSS embedded directly into our web pages here. Since we are using Hugo and static sites, it doesn't matter that much we we only need it we only need to, to have this at one place right now we have it here in the single dot html layout but it's easy to divide this file into different parts and, and write this css in its own file and then uh, but but still get this uh, this uh, to have it embedded directly into the source but it's also um, it's probably a lot more common. Let's see, I, I don't know it from the top of my head directly here. No, I don't think it's here. CSS, let's see if they describe it. Yeah, because we can define CSS, uh, which is styling for the different HTML tags. You can define it uh, in three different ways. Inline, uh, internal or external. And this is uh, internal CSS. It's defined in the in the head tag uh, as as its own style element here. Um, well, it doesn't really have to be in the head tag either. I, I think you can move it outside of the head tag, and it it will still work. Um, but you can also add the styles directly into the tags. But this, this is really difficult to do when you're doing a, a Hugo, Hugo site because we, we write our uh, content in Markdown, remember? Uh, let's take this one. So we cannot really add CSS here. But actually we, we, we could if we wanted to. Uh, because uh, Markdown, and, and this is, I don't know if, if I'm uh, the biggest fan of this, but Markdown uh, allows HTML. Uh, uh, you can add HTML like this to your Markdown, and it's, uh, this is uh, completely valid uh, uh, Markdown. I'm not 100% sure how, how Hugo will, will generate this, but uh, we can just see. Yeah, and now we, we have a blue heading. And here we have the CSS directly uh, embedded into the HTML tag here. Uh, but this is this is kind of uncommon, or I shouldn't say that either. Um, but it's often not a good idea to do this, and I, I think you should try to stay away from it if you don't really know what you're doing. If you know exactly what you're doing, then there are actually use cases for this uh, this as well. And sometimes it's just the easiest easiest thing to do. It, it all depends. But especially for, for uh, content things like this, you shouldn't add a style in, inside of it. Whatever. Uh, but the most common way to define uh, 
or, or use CSS is, is to do something like this instead. Inside the head uh, tags of the HTML document, you add a link to a, a external CSS file. Yeah, and let's, let's do that really quickly to see how that would look like. Um, so if we add this to our single HTML file here uh, inside And here we, we add a link to, yeah, we could just use this uh, to test here. And then we say styles.css, um, because this is kind of interesting to see how this works. Uh, it, it, it will reveal a lot of things about Hugo here. If I save here now, it, it, we, it will not work since we don't have that style CSS uh, um, anywhere. Uh, but I think that's fine. When you when you try to source uh, or, or use a file that, that uh, doesn't exist, then if it is a CSS file, it, it would just ignore that the browser, you, you will not even get an error. Maybe you get it in, in the um, console, not sure. Um, <clears throat> But um, a good question here is, uh, if we wanted to create this styles.css file, where should we put that in our, um, our Hugo project here? Because we kind of, we don't want to put it here in our posts directory, right? Um, you have to think about Hugo or the project from how it looks like when it's uh, generated in this public. And then we have this, uh, this directory structure. You know, each post gets its own directory. And when we, we just write styles.css like this, this is what's called a, a relative path. Uh, that means it will look for this styles.css in the same directory as the HTML file itself. So that would mean we would need a, a styles.css here in each of these uh, each of these directories. And to make that work, uh, we would have to create in the static folder here. God damn, this this is getting too off top. Let, 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 let's wait with this. Let's do this in the next video. Um, look at the static uh, directory instead and how, how that works. Um, but I hope, uh, I hope uh, we made, or we, di we did make some, some progress here uh, in, in this video. And I, I, I will link these uh, uh, web pages here that we looked at uh, in the show notes. Um, and if you can bear the language, I actually recommend reading these because they make very good uh, points about web design uh, in, 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 in these pages. Even if it is uh, very silly language, it, 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 it is kind of annoying. Maybe someone should make a, 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 like a, a family-friendly version of these sites. Maybe there is one. I don't know how to search for it. If someone knows, uh, please please uh, let me know in the show notes. It will be good for future reference. I've uh, whatever. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.